All right, now that you know how to log into Office 365, let's talk about using forms. And if you look up here at the top, you've got all kinds of different uh, options that you can use under Office 365. And I want you to choose this green one that is forms, okay? When you open it up, it'll look like this. And you can see I've got some forms and quizzes that I've already created and I'm going to show you how to create yours. So you have two choices here on the left, new form and new quiz. And today we're going to make a quiz. So I want you to click on new quiz and it'll look like this, okay? When you give it a title, all you have to do is left click on untitled quiz and it'll let you put whatever you want. So you might be making a quiz about the industrial revolution. So I'm going to write industrial revolution quiz, okay? You can enter a description. This quiz will cover all parts of the industrial revolution or whatever you want to say about the content of your quiz. You can also, to make your quiz a little bit more interesting, insert an image. So we're going to click that button and we have a Bing search pop up, just like when we used um, the photo search in PowerPoint in an earlier lesson. So I might put in industrial revolution to see what kind of pictures come up. And they've got all kinds of really cool pictures. So I like this one. I'm going to uh, select it and I know it's selected because it has a green check right here. And then this green add button comes up when I click it. It'll insert this image into my quiz. Okay. Another way that we can personalize this quiz is to go up here to the button that says theme. When I choose theme, we have these options to make our quiz a little bit more pretty. So I can make a solid green background. I could choose this one and it'll change what it looks like over here. I could have a giant octopus. Whatever you think is most relevant to what you're going to be asking is what you should choose here. 